Hi everyone, it's Miss Kate. I have Miss Hazel over here. Hey, today we're doing something really fun. Um, I don't even know where we got this. Kathleen. But, oh, our friend Kathleen. Hi Kathleen. Um, gave us this, or gave Hazel this tile that has a chicken that was made on a piece of newspaper and then someone drilled holes and then put beads on wire so it could hang up. So we thought, hey, let's make some of those. So my brother Robert cut a bunch of high density fiberboard pieces for us and we're going to use this. So I already painted it blue and let it dry. Later I have to drill the holes, which I will do, but not quite yet. Miss Kate, if you were going to make this at home, could you use something else? Yes, you could use cardboard. You could really use anything. Just You could cut a piece of cardboard, poke, poke holes in it, and then um, paint it and do the same exact thing. So we took a piece of newspaper. I actually already painted it yellow, so it would be dry for this. So I painted it yellow, and you could still see the writing through it. I didn't put a very thick coat on it. And now I'm going to... So I could take my pencil and draw first, but I'm going to go right into Sharpie. So I'm going to actually just copy exactly what that is. So I'm, I am drawing a circle, a circle-ish form here. And then I'm going to add in the wings for the chicken, an eyeball, a beak, which I have some orange paint right here. I might paint that. And then, oh, then it needs um, its tail feathers. It needs some feet. I think. And then that's kind of it. I'm going to make his eye a little bit bigger because he's sort of a bigger chicken than that other one. And now I have this chicken which I will cut out of the newspaper. And then, and it doesn't even have to be an exact, like a really precise cut. I'm just sort of going outside of the lines, cutting it out. I'm really just sort of copying what someone else did. And then I'll show you what you can use as a hanger. Do you have to cut it out perfectly, Miss Kate? No, that's, I, if you'll see when I'm done that this is not a perfect cut at all. Because this piece, it doesn't even really look like a chicken, it's sort of a chicken. Is it chicken-ish? It's chicken-ish. Yeah, you know we like chicken-ish things. Okay, so now, I also double cut or triple cut my newspaper. Now we have this cute little chicken right here, which I will glue onto here. I am going to add a little bit of orange to his beak because that's fun. And then I'm going to use some tacky glue, which I just happen to have in here. And I'm going to... Um, put it on the back and you'll notice Miss Hazel I did not use my finger this time for the glue. <laughs> nice job Miss Kate. Yes that sometimes It'll be happens. It's an easier cleanup for you. Much easier cleanup yeah. So I think I might also go later after this glue is dry I think I'm gonna put a layer on top of it like I'm gonna probably use Mod Podge which is a brand name but you could just take some water and, and some glue and add a little bit of water to your glue and then put that over as sort of a finished shellac oh, piece of it. So then this will get um, holes drilled in here and then to make a really pretty handle I'm taking this very thin piece of wire. Now you could, if you have thicker wire then you just use holes, the beads with bigger holes. Do you but think to, you could use a pipe cleaner too? You could use a pipe cleaner and then you don't have to worry so much about the holes. But when I'm going to put this on I'm going to fold up the edge of my wire here so that the beads don't fall off when I do this because it's really frustrating when you bead something and then the whole thing falls apart because you lifted it up and all the beads fall off and they're all over the floor and someone has to clean them up. So I'm going to keep working on this but um, we don't have to watch the whole thing so I'm going to bead all the way up to about here I think and then I'll be able to stick it in the hole wrap it around so you can see on this one they put them in the hole and then wrapped it around and then it just stayed there. And it could go on a hook in your house, it could go on a doorknob, it could go really anywhere. But it's just so cute and thank you Kathleen for giving us this idea. Okay, we'll see you next time, okay? Have a good day and we'll see you soon. If you liked our soon. video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Instagram, Alameda Arts Fun. Thanks, bye.